want, what we like, what we don't like, what we don't want to eat, what we can't eat. We all came here to show support for the women who birthed us. Because without a woman, there wouldn't be none of us in here. So, I say that to say this. We need all your support going forward. We got sisters out here crying about their babies. Their families getting ready to be deported back to some other country they've never been to before. And they are our sisters, the Hispanic sisters, our native sisters, our white sisters, and us our black sisters. accountable for the things he has not done or has said and promised to give and hasn't pulled through with. And we need y'all support. We need y'all out here because the men are smothering us. They're making our voices be way less uh, effective than they would be if they wouldn't always stick in our mouth. So let's go, y'all.
group that most of them were crying for us. And some of them were being a woman means to be strong. Being a woman means to be vulnerable. Being a woman means to be powerful. Being a woman means divine intervention on mankind itself. We are, we are the givers of birth, the lovers of life, the flowers in the spring. And I just want to let everyone out there know that I love you. DSP supports all women, black women, white women, native women, Latino women. Stand up. And everybody put your fists in the air. And repeat after me. I am she. I am she. You are her. You are her. And we are women. Good afternoon. My name is Red Hamilton. I'm an organizer with Don't Shoot Portland. We know that Trump's campaign was engrossed with racist, and shock, misogynistic rhetoric and propaganda. Let me point out that 63% of white women voted for Trump. Even though he has a history of sexual assault against women. We should all have a problem with that. Throughout history, the feminist movement has been rooted in white supremacy, ignoring the lives of black women. Black women are the most demoralized women in the country. And we need to change that. Yeah. We need to amplify the voices of the most marginalized of women. Those women being trans black women, black women, native, Hispanic, Mexican. We need now more than ever to incorporate change in how we as women organize. We need to integrate intersectionality in this movement if we want real change. In the words of Asana Shakur, one of my sheroes, repeat out 